Hello, it's Gary Perry here from Secure Retail POS Systems. Um, you're going to receive an email to allow you to sign in and connect and play around with uh, a point of sale software. Um, in that email, you'll see a SQ, uh, URL that you can copy. Um, just bear with me for a second. I'm going to highlight that, right click, copy it, go to my web browser and enter that into the web browser. Simply enter in the enter button and you'll see the screen pop up. Um, best that you open it up wide and then, all right, that's your secret sign on code to get in to that terminal. That's off in um, our warehouse. So you'll see something like this pop up. You're good to go. You've seen you online. You can narrow that. Don't shut that down. Just minimize that. So the point of sale uh, software that you should use is this one here right at the bottom. Uh, this one is also, if you want to open that up and play with it, you can. Let me just show you. If I double click, the point of sale software will roll out and appear on your screen. Um, at this stage, you want to sign on. And if you look at your email, it'll give you a sign on code. We're going to use 4651 and hit the log in button and then you'll notice right at the top the word admin appeared here to sign out i would hit that and that would sign out and admit's gone so four six five one log on and you're ready to go you're simply entering in your prices and hitting the departments you belong uh depressed you know discounts whatever you want to do hit the subtotal uh, round up to the next dollar or if they wanted to round up to uh, you know $43, you can enter in $43, uh, just like so. And again, the payment method, whether it's debit card, credit card, or if they simply just give you a $50 bill, you can just depress $50 bill. And you'll ring in the sale. I just want to quickly show you how to correct a mistake if you make a mistake. So for example, if I enter in $4.50 and I hit kids, Oop, I forgot to sign on. Four, six, five, one, sign on, see the admin. I'll enter in a price and I'll realize I made a mistake. I can simply highlight that item and remove it. If I have several prices and realize I made a mistake on this particular one, it should have been $19.99. I can remove that item. I can select men's, give a 50% discount. Realize I made a mistake. Remove the discount. Select men's and do a 25% discount. Okay. If I get completely messed up, I can go to manager mode and just cancel the entire transaction. Clear, clear, and start all over again. All right, so if you have any questions, have fun playing with it. Um, you can call me at 1-888-927-2399, uh, and I'm at extension 402.